Hello and welcome back to Sweet Transit. It is very quiet in Biggles Wade as far as trains go. But there's lots of people walking around. So that's good. It, it is busy in that regard, isn't it? Absolutely chock a block. Oh, that's our, yes, that's our church where we worship the great train. Now today we've got to get, uh, let's bring the UI up. We've got to get uh, close per minute. I would imagine we have to build something before that happens, though. I would also like to uh, change this area. I did promise I'd do something with this junction in the previous episode, but got distracted by all the other things we were doing. Mainly trains. I love how these are spaced out now. It's fantastic. Good idea in the comments, by the way. We do have an upgraded engine and wagon, so if we do struggle with our uh, workers our laborers we can maybe see what those are like but for now i think they're they're doing okay we're just going to check yeah no problems we did sort it out we were deleting and <laughs> moving people around up here in biggleswade so uh, they got uh, they got lost now there's a couple of ways we could get across here without actually crossing traffic i don't mind merging into traffic it's crossing that i'm not keen on so we're going to sort this out and uh we'll go with uh, something quite simple we don't need any of this coming down here we are pretty much done with that although what is it we've got to build it's a cotton farm isn't it is the new thing oh wheat farm spoilers a reach population of three and a half thousand laborers and we can get some wheat underway that's not what we're doing Cotton farm, there we go. We'll need that for our clothes, which is up here. So I'm assuming there's a builder cotton farm somewhere in this list. Uh, we don't have it at the moment. Once we're finished with uh, this little rebuild, we'll look for a place for our cotton. Probably around here might work. We might be able to... How many, how many things did I have to delete there? Like loads of them. Yeah, probably drop it off at this station, perhaps. We'll have to figure out what's uh, what's required. This was a nice junction when we didn't have uh, access to any sort of bridge. There we go. Now we need a bridge coming over here. Do we want to? There's a couple of ways we could do this. We could go across. It, you have to start three away from the rail that you want to go across. Do we want one like that? and one like this which would have this track coming out and then joining in like that pretty sure we get a full refund so i'm not too concerned about examples and that would be going that way so we'd go this way and we'd join back in up there like that that would be sort of like two flying junctions that would solve us having to cross traffic. We uh, just branch out there and merge in down here. The other option is we could continue that up to there, couldn't we? Yeah, we could go in like that, share the same bridge, and then we split off in two directions at the end. And then we wouldn't need any of this. Bridges do not have any upkeep. They cost a bit. So two options. I like the idea of this one because it's uh, it's tidier, isn't it? If we actually get rid of the uh, the bridge here, we'll get the deleted tool and tidy this up a touch. That's tidy, isn't it? And it does the same thing as what we just made. And then we just, uh, I guess we just branch in there. There we go. This can then continue off that way a little bit skew whiff but it's all right isn't it i'd like it like that ideally if we take the wiggle out the track there and we get rid of the signals not the track though it's fine we can rebuild it there we go and then we have our chain signal there also gives us a little bit more room after this junction here uh, this turnout so yes that is a possibility this would be going that way we then join back in with the main line 
Uh, the other option would be we could have that three track and we could join in up there if it was busy enough. This area we would... Oh, there's a point though. You can't have one on there, can you? So we'd have to rework that if we wanted a signal. Although, would the signal be required? I mean, it would, wouldn't it? Same here. We, we struggle up this end. We can at least have chain signals there. But it would block the bridge. We could have a chain signal up there. Or do we need a chain signal? No, because we're branching like that, aren't we? We could just have a, a normal blocking signal, surely, like that. Yeah. If we wanted to have where we stop after the bridge, we'd have to go out a single track length. But I think that would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, did you know what? That's tidier, isn't it? Having the actual proper chain signal down here. Uh, we'd come out one like that, and then we'd turn. So we'd turn up that way. And likewise, we're slotting one square up down here. Yeah, there we go. That's tidier. And then we slot in there. We need to get rid of our signals. There we go. It's not too bad, is it? I think, oh dear, delete all the things. There we go. Now you can have a chain signal at the bottom. So we've got an, a signal on the bridge, but I don't mind. Oh yeah, make sure this is facing the right way. One there, one there. Two chain signals back here. Uh, releasing signal just there. Hope we've got enough room down here. One there, one there. Change that to a chain signal. Releasing signals. But yes, we can have those there. I think we've got like chain signals everywhere though, don't we? Yeah, so we could tidy that section up now we've changed how this works and it can go something like that yes and then you just need that one there yeah that's tidier isn't it beautiful i think that will work <laughs> i'm hoping so anyway right get you up there do we need one here not really but i'm gonna put one in i like to separate them this is where we'd need to cross. We would need to cross that way. Well, I guess we could come in there and make a really strange junction. Cutting straight across doesn't really matter. Depends if we, if we can get a train length. We can also extend this station, couldn't we? And have another platform out here. It would be a nice meaty station then, wouldn't it? Oh, do you know? I kind of like that idea. Right. Get another platform out there in fact make it one longer just in case i don't know how long we're going to need these i'm just going to make this that long what is the longer oh it's up to there i see that would be full length station wouldn't it goodness me that's absolutely massive talking of restrictions we need to talk about that there are some changes coming to the game that will change how you start a playthrough I'm not sure when the actual changes take effect, but uh, yeah, they are gonna, they are definitely gonna change the way we have to uh, approach this. There we go. We've got our our bridges across. When you're building, you have a limited area to building, and when you upgrade a village to a town and to a city, this expands. However, coming up, there are going to be no limitations whatsoever. Yeah, you can, you can have your village it's as, as big as you like. So that does change the, uh, the playing field a little bit. And as far as I know, there is going to be no restrictions on, on where you can build your industries. So currently, if we went to pick an industry, it doesn't matter what, a potato farm, it, uh, we can't build within our area at Biggleswade. The new changes will allow us to build anywhere within Biggles Wade's area because Biggles Wade won't have an area anymore. I'm not sure what I think about that. We'll have to uh, see how that changes things. I like the restrictions quite a bit, but uh, it, I don't know. I don't know. We'll probably have to uh, 
finish up on this playthrough when that goes into effect as it completely changes the game dynamics doesn't it but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it can I squeeze one in there there we go that's nice isn't it we might as well have one there as well why not and this one what I was thinking is we could we wouldn't even need to join would we if we're having our cotton farm down here where would we where would we need to squeeze it in I mean it's gonna take up a lot of room we do have a lot of room in here to build so it is possible to have it quite close we could just go across there couldn't we I know we go across two tracks this couldn't be a bridge we could make it a bridge as long as we have this section of track heading straight for a little bit so we'd have to just come out sooner which isn't such a bad idea yeah we'd have to come out there and then would go straight so we wouldn't need this bit of junction here i know i'm changing everything today guys it's because we've got bridges i said it would happen now how would we make this work we would need to be over there i would like to go off at that angle we could have a little wiggle uh, we could slide in up here the same but if we have the wiggle early on it doesn't really matter then does it we're already pulling off a junction anyway let's get that straight then we can have our bridge and we should be able to just slide around like that i know it's a unnecessary wiggle but uh oh no we can't can we we can't do it like that anyway we'd have to yeah we'd have to change how this works because you need we'd come down here and we haven't got enough room to turn around there uh, if we had one square back, we could do it. Couldn't we? If we had this track there instead. Uh, let's just get rid of that. I think that would work. If we go across... Well, we could go across here. Three away is there. Like that, couldn't we? Does that get in there? I think it does. Yes, it does. So that bit works. Uh, we wouldn't need that little bit of track there. How would that work here? I mean, we could get rid of that section. Head that way. Yeah, that works. And then we just change this to chain signal and then a couple of releasing signals. And we're good. And then after the bridge and before the bridge. Ooh, after or before? And uh, before. And that's where our our station's going to be for our cotton then. Oh, actually, we could do the same there, couldn't we? We could branch off one here and, and go across there for our cotton train. Yes, it's a possibility. Uh, we'd need to get rid of that signal so that we can continue on and out there. Then we'd need releasing signals we've got our signals set up up there there's a lot going on there isn't there dear oh dear right would that be everything that actually separates it do we need to rejoin not really am i gonna probably leave it like that yes uh this bit is unnecessary now isn't it we don't need any of this yes destroy all that and we'll destroy all of this as well and down to there this is all separate now there we go <laughs> you can see where it all was we're probably going to need that room yeah i don't remember this warehouse requiring any uh cotton stuff i think it's going to go exactly where how our stone is cut and that's in uh, biggles wade industry so we can have more industry stuff going on over here clothing manufacturers okay does this work biggles wade that's the passenger what about we want the cut stone to the where there we go cut stone to the warehouse that's pleasant isn't it yeah i mean we can get to the warehouse that way but again we'd have to go through here this is sort of a shortcut 
It's all industry, isn't it? It's all freight. Now, we've got uh, our two trains here. I'll be interested to see how much of a holdup it actually is. I can't see any deadlocking situations. Although, these could remain separate now, couldn't they? And we could use this same bridge to get across. I just noticed, because our stone train goes that way. Uh, that would mean both our cut stone goes across here, along with our... Yes, along with our new cotton train. We do need to loop around. Perhaps we could loop that way and turn around and just go back over that way. We wouldn't need to go through here at all then, would we? We could maybe, maybe join direct up here. We could send it through a station there and not have any of this. Do we have any trains that would need to go here then? If our stone train then shares most of the track of our cotton. Yeah, we wouldn't need this little bit of a junction. We could leave it in. I don't mind leaving this in and then remove it if it gets in the way. Yes. Yes. We would want our cotton out here, wouldn't we? I guess we just do this. This works. I think we could get uh, everything sat in here quite nicely. Where do we want it? I, I guess as much room as possible, as central in this area as possible. Distribution center. Where would we want our track to be? We want it sent. Do we want it central? No. We want uh, where we're going to build most of it to be at the back of this. So we want our station closer to the main line. That's what I'm running with. Will that work? Yes, I think it will. Right, you're going in there. We're doing it, guys. We've got our distribution center in. That's going to go out to the station. Oh, yes, we should build out to... Uh... Oh, where do we want this? We want this to go out that way. And that way. And we're going to build on the outside of this. And we'll leave this bit open. So, in fact, we could... We could go something like that perhaps instead i think that's what we figured out last time get that gone and then we can go out that way i would like to build on the back of it up this end as well so we'll be that should be right shouldn't it yeah there we go and that is going to be there now and then down there and we'll delete what we don't need once we've figured out what cotton farms require i like that we'll have another uh, another station close to the main line it's sort of what we had before but what happens is a little bit different or a lot of bit different and takes into consideration the uh the cut stone train so let's get us a station in uh station building station building i'm not used to the icons yet is that it small station there we go um, I'm just going to... Uh, no, don't just plonk it in. We can tidy it up. There we go. I want the uh, the little door at the back like that. Do I want to do massive O platforms? I think it's excessive. No, I don't. I do want them bigger, though. I'm going to go five either end. I really don't think we need massive trains for this short little journey here famous last words we can always adjust it well no we can't can we because well i might have to stop the series due to the the major changes coming right this has to turn around somehow <laughs> let's try and figure this out that would be a through track then and then we'd have a platform and then we just turn straight round and then head back up that way yes i think that works doesn't it Oh, and look, guys, we can actually join back in, I think, where we did before. <laughs> yeah, we can. Oh, look, it's just... Oh, I love it. I absolutely love that. Right, and then... Yes. Ooh, actually, it does cut off quite a bit of our, our potential farm building. We'd ideally want it close to this, don't we? Like, we'd want that to scoot right round sharp yes yeah that should be enough room and then that goes 
not that way, that way. But we'd want that, in fact, we'd want that to go down there. Is this even necessary? Yes, because we're going the opposite direction. Of course it's necessary. Yeah, I'd like to move that over so we've got as much build room as possible. And we'll, we'll probably almost triple track that with uh, maybe some sort of gap in the middle. Yeah, like that, as tight as we can get it up there. And then we bring that one in up there. We don't need it triple track. We can just branch off, couldn't we? Here. Well, we could triple track it just there. That'll be fine. This is going to be... Oh, I missed it. This is going to be heading up that way. And then we branch off to head to the warehouse. And bypass. That means we are going to need a platform on the other side. Uh, yes, we can make that one a bit longer, I guess. Go on, then. In fact... Do you want me to? I'll do it just for you guys. It's not the longest platform, but it is a mega platform at the very least. Right, and then we'll get that over there. Oh, I didn't rotate them, but we can, we can rotate them if we want, can't we? But you'd have to click on them all. Oh, I clicked it twice. Yeah, I'd have to click on them all. Yeah, oh, it doesn't matter. That's being changed eventually, where it's automatic when you drag them. <laughs> which makes sense but anyway we've got some uh, signaling to do haven't we is that everything that's all of our connections now isn't it yeah we don't technically need this bit i uh, will leave the signaling in i know some of you asked to uh leave some of the old infrastructure in so that we'd have uh, a bit of a bit of uh disused track which we, we're gonna have just there and which would be the other one this one if we don't use that it would be disused track as well so we'll leave that in and we'll see how it looks once it's all overgrown right let's finish this bit i would like to get the signal in in and then that means we're ready to go with our cotton one there after the station i'm gonna do part way down the station as well there we go and then we can just auto signal the rest of that i think and that should be fine did it put a signal on the bridge i think he did you're beautiful here we go i might squeeze another one in there i don't think anything's gonna actually share that track but uh we've got it anyway oh yeah you've got midway signals do you know i kind of don't mind that if we have them there as well uh yes and then get rid of that bit because i don't think there's enough room here i like them down there part way down the the platforms right let's uh let's get you signaled up as well where do we want you probably just after the bridge like that is that nice yes that's tidy that's tidy we're gonna need a uh, chain signal just there we've got one just there this is should work just fine and yeah there we go oh it's like spaghetti junction now i'm sure it'll work just fine what is up with this no you're not production low you you've <laughs> if just building with the blocks it's fine low amounts perhaps right let's build us i would like to at least get the cotton in the cotton farm i'm hoping they're similar to Either the, yeah, the farm or the the nursery. If that is the case, we, we should have plenty of room. It's exactly the same uh, as I believe as the, yes, as the potato farm and the nursery. There and there. Let's see how much. Oh, yes, there we go. How much cotton can we get in here? I think all of it, quite possibly. Uh, some down there we'll need what five more so just down there that's nice the dirt road ends at the uh, the bottom there oh am i gonna be able to fit it in here i think so oh guys what have i forgot where on earth are we getting passengers from it should have been these guys i did all that and and we don't have a way to get passengers into into here 
Or do we? Or do we? Uh, yes, well, we kind of do, don't we? We could continue round. We could use that one, but this one only stops at two destinations, doesn't it? Uh, that means we could. We could use this loop. Well, <laughs> it's a it's a bit messy, but we'd head back that way. No, I don't like it. We do have a way to stop there and cross over and then join back in. It's still not pretty though. We'd have to <laughs> we'd have to do something different down here perhaps. We could always go across and then join back in and head that way. I completely forgot about the workforce. That's plain transport fever where you don't have to worry about that type of thing. Where do we... How do we want to do that? Which way are you heading? This way. We could have them. If I can figure out a way to just slide into here and stop our passenger train, this one, there. Oh, I've got an idea, guys. I, I hope it works. <laughs> It's going to be a, a little unsightly, perhaps, but can you see it? I, I, this train is a perfect example of where we could maybe get away with this. We'd have to change how this works, but I, I think we can do it. Right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm confident. I'm confident. It's going to be beautiful, sort of. Right, let's get our track building and then we'll call it and we'll see if it works and then we'll set it all up next time out the uh the actual uh the line this not there this has to that's the tightest angle isn't it this has to be deleted up to that point there this is going to then come down the side there so this is going to continue round all the way we're actually going to branch off here is that right? E yes. Branch off there. So we need that running along there. There we go. Little side track for our passenger station. And then we'll... I mean, I guess we could just join back in with that, couldn't we? I, I think that's not a bad idea since we've already got access there. So get rid of that. And then we'll slide in up that end and we'll have the chain signals down there then what we can hopefully do here's a question can we get or oh, squeeze in a platform oh yes rotate it <laughs> a platform down here uh in fact just have it there it doesn't need to be too long because it's just our passenger trains so we have that there and then we should be able to just have a little bridge going across. And there we go. Now our train can stop on the way down here. I think that's going to work just fine. Oh. Oh. That wasn't planned. But I love it. That. That. Swap that for a chain signal. And sure. I mean, I'd, I hope they're not bunched up. But if they do get bunched up, then there's a bit of blocking along the uh, along the platform there i think we're good i think we're good i love this look at how oh, it's it's a lovely mess so we've built us our our cotton farm and we should get workers shouldn't we you are connected to the cotton farm you are connected to the distribution center yeah i don't think we need coal because we get coal from here and our passenger train should be okay because uh, you'll refuel there at Biggie Nursey and at Biggles Wade as well. Oh, do you know what? I keep meaning to do this. This will increase the throughput a little bit, won't it? Uh, let's just switch that around. Yeah, we'll get double loading going over here. There we go. Double loading. That'll speed that up so we're not taking quite as long 
Do we have everything in place? That's the question. Let's uh, extend our our main the passenger line, don't we? Biggles Wade coal. We need one after Biggles Wade, so that would be Station One. No, better name than that. Station One is uh, Biggie Cotton. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm making up things now. Right, Biggie Cotton. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? You need to be after Biggles Wade 1, I think. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. We just scoot off the main line. We've got two different styles going on here. Fortunately, it, it was uh, perfect, wasn't it? Because then we could have this sort of, uh, well, Sweet Transit's version of a, a flying junction. And yes. <laughs> yes. Right, guys, we've we've got this up and running. We'll set up the cotton and the clothes making stuff when we come back then. I'm going to hit play and hopefully everything's just going to work. I love this. I absolutely love this. I think it's all going to work. Can you see any issues with it? We're lacking a bit of signaling around here, but it is a single train. I, I don't like it. Yeah, we, we could just use a, an extra signal there and one there there we go it's beautiful oh yes our, our lumber is now crossing the main line without uh, interfering with the trains we do join back in here but uh, now this junction we're either pulling away onto the main line or we're slowing down to pull off the main line so that works and any through trains in the future will just go all the way through, won't they? Yeah, let's close all those windows. There's a, oh, this is nice. So there goes our planks. Where is our... That's our stone train. I'm surprised you didn't drop all that off because we're empty, aren't we? You might be full on stone, actually, over here. But everything seems to be working. Oh, I didn't rotate these. Look at them. They're terrible, guys. <laughs> oh dear I don't know why I bother uh, it does look better though right where's our where's our stone train our cut stone oh there you go I, d I missed it it's the green one you're going to pull into there you should have plenty of stone to pick up that's what I'm hoping oh goodness me yeah you got 500 look at that you're going to be absolutely chock a block you are going to have 250 stone to uh, take back to the warehouse. And this will stop complaining unnecessarily. Because production hasn't changed, technically. Oh, where are you going? Well, you can get that way, can't you? We'll have to put a waypoint in. Well, that's nice. He, he made a choice. He made a choice. He made the wrong choice. But, uh, yeah, you do you. It's fine. It is a, an option. I would like to get him... Uh, going down our, our new track setup though so we don't have to do this i mean it is fine perhaps he'll choose do you know experiment wise oh yes we'll just stop uh, interacting at that junction although experiment wise let's see if he does take different routes depending on the amount of traffic that would be interesting and kind of cool if it did if it was too busy on, on one section of track, maybe you'd scoot round and use the other one. Yeah, we'll see. Right, so we'll start our clothes manufacturing next time out because uh, we have all the infrastructure set up. We've got to create the line and figure out what we're going to do with those clothes or the, I guess, the cotton to begin with. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. That was a fun build today. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.